Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys. So for all your tea sipping needs, don't forget to check out lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea thank you guys so much for the support in advance and stay tuned for the video you guys don't know honey Nas went off yesterday on social media he was trending all over the trending topics folks were going crazy on Instagram usually Nas is very quiet about his personal life you can't get too much out of him when I tell you yesterday honey Nas was like you know what today I got time cuz <laughs> today I got time I was acting cool, cuz Nigga, what's up? How gangster are you, cuz? I don't fuck with you, cuz You disrespecting me I don't fuck with you, cuz You disrespecting me I go hard, cuz Y'all know damn well I love that meme I couldn't wait to use it Yes, Nas had time that day, okay? He was not here for the foolishness If you guys remember back in June Khalees came out with her side of the story Basically saying that Nas used to hit her He's an alcoholic and a deadbeat dad She basically blasted him in front of the world we were we were in love. It, he was drunk and he would black out and he was angry and he was mad and he would be mad about things that didn't make any sense. He would be mad about who I was going to go talk to. He would be mad about if we were at an after party for the Grammys or MTV or whatever. If like, you know, if Jay said hi or a freaking like, it's just, too, I'm like, I can't keep up with all of these things. Like, these are not my battles. These are your battles. I don't even care about these people. I don't care. If someone says hi, I'm like, what up? I don't give a damn. I don't like any of them anyway. Like, w really, like, you know what I mean? Like, not even personally. I just don't care. I don't care. But yet he cares so much that like it caused a lot of conflict. And then you're out and we're dressed up and there's, di I mean, I have the craziest stories, like, the craziest stories. It's ridiculous. Like I said, I couldn't write these things. So now Nas is finally done. He wants to say his part of it. He wants to speak his side. He's over it. I'm gonna go ahead and read to you guys this long ass dissertation, honey, that Nas wrote on Instagram yesterday. Go ahead and check this out. So Nas says, the price I pay to see my son, and apologies in advance for all the typos, is I am speaking from the heart as a man who has had enough. Today I got a call from Essence about my ex-wife doing another sad, fictitious story. Nothing surprises me anymore, including this. This is what your life has come to, sis. Exploiting some people's real struggle and pain just to get at me to get attention, fame, another fight against men. We are a human family and we should be better examples to our son. Why is there even an issue for me to have any time with my son? A son needs his father. So many absentee fathers out here, and here I am being attacked by all your accusations simply because I got us in court to help fix the custody matter. Why did I have to take you to court to see our son? Why when I win the joint custody, which is a win for both of us and our son, it helps with both of our schedules, why do you feel that it's an attack on you? Is it control? Why do you need to have control over my life? Because we're not together? Then why? Is this being rewarded and praised by people who are being taken advantage of by you and your lies? To all separated couples out there who are cordial and co-parent nicely, good for you. I wish that was me. I'm the most chill, cool parent there is. Who has time to argue about what? It's about our little guy. You haven't had to deal with what I've been dealing with. Trust me, I'm a mild-mannered, God-fearing, very fair human being who tries his hardest to please everyone. It's in my nature. I've seen too many times before. There are times I thought Khalees, my ex-wife, was not this type. This is a type of antics that deceives people and people mistakenly call it strong. Seems I've always had more belief in you than you have in yourself. I instill strength in my daughter, who you were already so jealous of and treated poorly, being jealous and verbally abusive to a little girl. In life, you have to work hard to be successful, not try to tear someone down, for that's the most coward way. Women are the essence of life and I cherish them. My strength is given to me from my mother and I am everything she taught me to be. I was raised in a single home by a single woman and I'm a very proud black man. I shouldn't have ignored the signs from your first song and video. I hate you so much right now. But I thought you was beautiful. You came into my life at a time I was grieving for my mother's passing. You were a friend and because of that I wanted to marry you and I did. We had a big lavish wedding. 
Overall, there were too many good times. I have to say I wasn't the most faithful husband. I was immature, and I'm sorry about that. But you bumped your own head, sis. Why do I have to live through a constant divorce? It didn't work out. Life goes on. I'm not coming back to you. You're married, and I'm happy for you. And I'm an extremely happy black brother out here trying to make a difference for my kids and the next generation of young people who see me as a huge inspiration in the music, art, business, education, and so on. After 10 years of keeping my silence and during a decade of dealing with your hostile behavior and verbal abuse, even your stepfather holding you back from one of our physical violent attacks on me right outside your house this year while trying to pick up our son while he watched from the window, it was my weekend and you denied me that because your parents were in town. I just went home. This has been my life for my son's entire life. Even our son wonders why you treat me the way you do. There's some seriously crazy things I won't disclose for our son's sake because you keep my son from me. I've been going through lawyers to stop you from this bullshit and I'm tired of it. I'm tired of you painting a bad picture of me. I've been tired of it, but you never seem to get tired. I even had to be in a relationship with you again after we separated just so I could see my son. And I'm just tired. Back then you asked me why I didn't stop the divorce from happening. I tried. We are too different. Some things are not meant to be. We were meant to be so that we could have our son, nothing more. You didn't like that. I prayed for your peace of mind for years because you're an uneasy soul. I still do. I guess some things take time. You definitely don't need me now and probably never knew me. You make up this image of me that's not true, but it's funny because it's really you describing yourself. You made up stories about me and claimed I did things that you did. I hate all of this, but you were a very jealous wife and I had to deal with all of that. And that's the worst feeling. How much heat I had to take from producers, writers, music attorneys, record execs who felt your mean spirit wrath, dropped you from labels, from start tracks to all of them. I stopped talking to Jungle and Steve Stout because of you and almost lost Anthony because of you. You used to turn my phone off so my professionals couldn't reach me and take the battery. You insulted anyone, whoever was around me. Not a single person in my life loved or could even stand you. Luckily for you, our assistants all signed NDAs or you would have a list of men and women who would happily talk about how verbally abusive and evil you are. Your self-sabotage your ways has caused you the grief that you're dealing with, not me. The altercations you speak of are no more different from most normal couples go through. But your exaggerated version is just unjust. Whenever one is constantly attacked and the instinct is to restrain that person or defend yourself to prevent escalation, in hindsight, now my advice to young men out there in this situation like this is to run at the first sign of verbal abuse or physical. I heard you said terrible things about me and makes me feel sad how heartless you can be. You play with strong women's struggles like they mean nothing. You're taking advantage of a moment in time where women who are fighting for their lives to get justice and being treated fairly. You just looked at it as an opportunity to get ahead. Like abuse is a game. Like tearing down your son's father is a game. You have a son. Why are you still competing with me by telling him bad things about me? Guess what, sis? He has eyes and ears and as smart as ever. I don't have to say anything. I think he knows what's really good. You will not stop me from fighting for my son. You tell him God doesn't love his dad because his dad doesn't go to church? Didn't want to bring up money, but since that's the fuel behind all of this, let me say that I gave you the tools to be successful after you were dropped from your label. I paid for cooking school at Cordon Bleu, that expensive yellow stove that we had flown in from Europe. I helped pay for the remodeling of your house. Your assistant stole thousands from my credit card, according to American Express. Out of all the people, you should be completely understanding of my grind, but you can't win with you. My schedule is crazy, but you never helped me see my son. I'm hardly allowed to talk to him over the phone, ever. My lawyer told me to bring cops to your house and show my court orders when you don't let me get him or answer your phone. But who besides you wants to show their kid that that parent is out of control? I've been going through lawyers to stop you from this bullshit for years. I finally got our custody together to work with our schedule through the court. While leaving court, you tell me that you're going to get me back for fighting to see my son. And three weeks later, you're on camera doing an interview about your truth. Interesting timing. Do what you want. 
Just don't violate another court order, sis, because the judge won't like that at all. The judge already ordered you to pay my legal fees because he was tired of you wasting everyone's time in court. No lawyer wants to represent you after what you put them through. That's why you text me today asking me for more child support and you want to keep it out the courtroom. You will not stop me from fighting for my son. Remember, God sees all and I'm no longer allowing you to take advantage of that fact that I did not want to respond in a manner that could affect my kids, friends, or family publicity. That ends today. Her is a plot and a scheme, has no merit, no foundation. I didn't want to speak up because I have real respect for our women and definitely my son. I do not beat women. I did not beat up my ex-wife. Stop. You got beat up in court. How much money do you want? Do you want me to relinquish my rights to see my son? Is that what you want? Just tell me. After all the tweets, the posts you made through the years disrespecting me and my family, I still have love for you as the mother of my child. But I am done with this. This game ends now. God will be the judge of all of this. And although you tell everyone God hates me, some Christian you are, I will survive and I will thrive from this moment because I know who I am and you have no clue who you are. And to all the fans that know my silence was due to the fact that I don't openly do this kind of petty shit, I appreciate you writing. And to those who were led down the wrong path, I get it. Very sensitive times and all things must be taken seriously. This is my truth. I don't care what else she has left to say unless it concerns our son. This is the first and last time I'm addressing this. Despite all of this, I still hope for the best for her because what's best for her is best for night. Love, Nasir, Ben Olu Dara Jones. Oh, shit. Woo! That was some damn long ass reading. I told y'all, now I said, today I got time. Today I got time, yes. Today I got time, yes. When I tell you Nas is not here for the fuckery, and I am so glad that Nas is telling his truth. I remember when Khalees came out back in June, everybody was like, T, you gotta do a video. What are your thoughts on Khalees? What are your thoughts? But something told me, you know what? Nah, I'm not feeling this shit. Let me just fall back and see how this plays out. Now granted, it took a few months, okay? But I'm glad I didn't jump on the whole, I hate Nas bandwagon. He's a shitty man. He's a shitty father. At the end of the day, like I always say, there's three sides to every story, okay? His side, her side, and the truth, okay? I don't know what exactly transpired in their relationship, you know what I mean? But one thing I do know is that all these years that Nas has been in the public eye, he's not a messy person. You don't see him ranting on Twitter. He's not the 50 cent of the internet. He's not, you know, always in beef. Nas does him. He's very, very low key. And I also feel like that's probably why his relationship with Nikki did not work out. Because, you know, Nikki is so, you know, loud and she likes to be out there. She likes to be seen. Nas is a very, very low key person. He doesn't like his business out in the streets. Um, you know, just a really nice brother. I met him one time in Studio City going to the grocery store. You know, and I was like, hey, Nas, you know, he just stopped and spoke. He didn't have security around him. He was just like with the female, you know, just really, really low key dude. You know what I mean? If I wouldn't have did a double take, I wouldn't have realized it was Nas, you know. But it's really sad that it's come down to this. You know what I mean? No woman should be using their child as a weapon. It's not OK. At the end of the day, it takes two to make a child. Mother and father. And I understand relationships end. And especially when infidelity is involved, it can cut you to the bone. It can make you question yourself as a woman. You know, it can really tear down your spirit. Trust me, I've been there. But that's never an excuse to keep the child away from the father. At the end of the day, any mistreatment of the mother... That's between the mother and the father that doesn't have anything to do with the children. And you know what's so crazy is that there are people now coming out. One of the nannies, she said, fuck that NDA bitch. She came out onto social media and she basically is verifying everything that Nas said. So I'm going to go ahead and read to you guys what this nanny had to say. Go ahead and check this out. So the nanny says, what Nas is saying is absolutely true. I was Knight's nanny the first years of his life. We were instructed on several occasions not to answer the door when Nas was coming, to not answer his calls or to shorten his visits, etc. I can show you emails to verify my employment. She was absolutely evil towards him when I was employed by her. Sometimes when he came by, I would sneak and allow him to see night while she was out of the house. Her mama is just as evil. 
Ooh, I can't stand that woman. Honey. We gonna need to see them damn receipts, nanny, okay? So that was the nanny just leaving a comment in the comment section and he got screenshotted, you know what I'm saying? So it looks like there's some people coming out to verify Nas's story. You know, at the end of the day, this entire situation is sad, you know? I don't really too much care about Nas or Khalees. They're grown. My issue is that their son, Knight, is suffering, okay? He needs to be around his father just like he needs to be around his mother. He needs to learn what a healthy co-parenting relationship is, okay? And I think that, you know, from what Nas is saying, that Khalees is very bitter because the marriage did not work out and Nas does not want to be with her and it bothers her and her career has not gone to where she thought it would be. Let's keep it real. You know, Khalees is not the Beyonce of their relationship. Nobody really is checking for Khalees like they are checking for Nas and I feel like that might have caused some friction in their relationship possible jealousy especially when he's you know ruining professional relationships and not allowing him to answer the phone and you know when she got dropped from her label sometimes a person that you sleep with can be an enemy in disguise you know sometimes your partner can be jealous of your success especially when they see you elevating and growing it can make them feel some type of way I've experienced this and just like Nas said I agree with him when you start experiencing verbal abuse when somebody starts you know trying to kill all your dreams and say that your dreams ain't shit Shit and you know not being supportive at that point in time it's time to run okay you don't need that energy vampire in your life because all they want to do is just suck your energy and they want to keep you as low and as miserable as they are you know what I mean so this entire situation is just really sad you know but I'm glad that Nas is speaking his truth and it must be really really bad for him to go onto social media and write that long ass damn dissertation honey that I just damn bred and part of me was like I don't want to read this shit again let me just have y'all read it. But I felt like I needed to read it so you guys could get the scope of what he says. I feel like when I just post it and being that it's so long, a lot of y'all are not going to read it. All right. Let me read this seven part Nas lament. I think this is over 40 and do an entire soliloquies about their private lives on Instagram. But I digress. I got three posts in. I, I couldn't. I, I don't know. I guess maybe if it was an interview, it would feel more genuine. I just, I, I don't, I don't know. It don't feel right. It just don't. And I be knowing. And in this case, I just know a lot. So I'm going to go back to watching Ozark. <laughs> I always explain when people say, she's always angry. And it's like, yeah. I'm a black, intellectual, conscious, outspoken, professional, independent woman in America. There's a lot to be angry about. So I wanted to read it to you guys. And that is a man who's hurt. That is a man who's speaking from his heart. And that is a man who's telling his truth as he sees it. Just like Khalees was allowed to tell her truth as she saw it back in June, okay? So what's good for the goose is definitely good for the gander. If Khalees can get on Hollywood Unlock and cry and, you know, tell her side, Nas definitely has every right to speak his truth and tell his side of the story as well, okay? So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire sad situation concerning Nas and Khalees and just all this drama with Khalees supposedly not allowing him to see his son. And then how do you guys feel about what the nanny had to say? Do you feel like she's telling the truth in this situation and who do you believe you know do you side with Khalees do you side with Nas or are you like me somewhere in the middle just waiting for more facts and more tea to spill okay so anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment all right deuces Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.